All right, why am I looking like a hot mess this morning? Because we, me and my sister, are about to go kayaking. We're gonna go on a little kayak adventure to, oh, there she is, to see the wild horses uh, in Beaufort, North Carolina. So yeah, this ought to be interesting. So we're getting ready to go. So when we got to the kayak rental place, my sister, like the good New Yorker she is, had a lot of questions for the workers there. She wanted to know what kind of marine life she might encounter on our kayaking journey. So she would not encounter great white sharks. They promised that she would not encounter alligators. She would encounter small things like um, crabs, maybe an occasional stingray, some small fish, but nothing that would eat her. So she was very excited to hear that news. So we got our stuff together, we rented our kayaks, and off we went. First, right here is where I have seen the wild horses hanging out. I've seen them a ton of times, whether we've just driven by this area or we've been boating in this area, or there was another time when I actually went kayaking and saw the horses right here. So the odds were pretty good that they would might be there this time. Okay, we're on land and we are looking for the wild horses. We don't see any yet, but we were told that they hang out. horses. There are signs of wild horses. No wild horses. So everything was going fine when we were walking through the, the land island part of our little journey um, until I stepped on this like cactus thing, okay? And it was the kind of pain where I felt I felt it in my foot and my whole entire body just started tingling. And I looked down and it was like a landmine of these little cactus things. Uh, so the rental place, they were so nice, so kind, but they didn't tell us that while we were walking up there looking for the wild horses, that we might encounter these extremely sharp, spiky cactus things. And they were so sharp, they went, I mean, it went right through my water shoe. So just a word to the wise, if you are gonna go exploring any type of unknown land, unknown little island area, looking for wild horses or whatever you might be looking for, you might wanna bring appropriate shoes that little spiky things can't penetrate, okay? Because it hurt so badly. Uh, so I looked down and now I don't know what to do. I can't step anywhere. They're all over the place. I can't sit. It was uh, horrible. So I kind of just like used my water bottle as a prop and slowly lifted up my foot and had to pull out these spiky things. And then 
I was cringing as I was just so like delicately walking to make sure that I wasn't gonna step on any more cactus. So we kind of figured out that if we stayed where there was sand, these little spiky cactus things weren't in those areas. But in the more grassy areas, that's where these little spiky cactus things were. So that was interesting. This is never a good sign. Not a good sign. I have no idea what these bones were from. I don't know if they were real. I don't know if they were placed there, but we were on a kind of like preserved area. I mean, you're allowed to go up there, but I didn't want to touch any of those bones, whatever they were there. I, for whatever reason they were there for, I don't know what kind of animal they came from, or like I said, I don't even know if they were real, but I felt like it probably, you know, was a sign. Not horses. After we filmed at this location right here by these water birds, we went down a path by the water and it was the strangest thing. You heard this sound like and it was just like, just like this, I mean, it was pretty loud, like this overwhelming sound of just, I don't even know how to explain it. You'll, my fingers explain it for you, just it was weird. And I looked down and there were literally millions millions of these little tiny crabs and that's what the noise was the noise was these little tiny crabs just like scattering all through like this marshy area it was the weirdest feeling um we walked a little bit up this like muddy kind of marshy path and they were just scattering out of the way but it got to the point where it the water was kind of like getting a little bit higher and the little crabbies had kind of nowhere to go we had nowhere to step and we were afraid we didn't want to step on them and so we turned ourselves back around and went back up to the higher part of the island so we came back to land there's your horses right there we didn't see any real ones we just had to get the pamphlet so if you haven't figured it out by now, we did not see any wild horses on this whole trip. Now, we have been living here for two years now. And since I moved here, me and my sister have been wanting to kayak to take pictures of the horses, okay? She's a photographer. She, I mean, she doesn't normally film animals but she would have loved to have gotten some really awesome shots of the wild horses but of course on this day you know when you take a photographer with you to go look for wild horses you're not gonna find wild horses uh, now I'm sure if I went back today if I went back tomorrow if I went back next Tuesday I'm sure that I would see a ton of horses because she's not here but you know that's how it goes so I hope you like this video if you do don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. So to not leave you disappointed, these are pictures that I took from my last kayaking trip to go see the horses. So they are there, there are actually horses, we just didn't see them this time.